Daniel Kaufman asks, how about making your own commands in scripts? In, in scripts, uh, and he gives some examples. There's lots of ways you can create your own commands, and um, today we're going to go over a simple one called alias. So alias, if you type it right, uh, is a command that you can now basically rename commands as something else uh, or alias them. For example. I like to use the ls-lha command to list files in a list format, human readable file sizes, and list all, including hidden files. So I can hit enter to do that. But since I typed that so much, maybe I want to shorten it up some. So I can use the alias command, f equals, and then quotations I'll say list, and just give it the command that I want. And what this is saying is, uh, from here on out, if I just type the letter f, run this command, so now I hit enter, I can type in F and hit enter, and it runs that command. Now, this does not go from session to session. Uh, if I open up a new shell down here, I can test, press F, and it's going to say command not found. Same as up here. Uh, up here, it's still saved because I haven't exited out of that session yet. So how do we get our commands to go from session to session, our aliases, our settings here? Uh, and depending on your shell that you're using, uh, it's going to be in a different RC file. An RC file is a file that basically runs at your, your start. So I'm in my home directory here. If I list, I can list dot bash RC. You can see there is a bash RC file. And that is what the file for bash is called. So it's going to be in your home directory. If it doesn't exist, you can create it. The dot means that it's hidden. So if you don't... Uh, uh, if you go into a regular browser, if I just list, you don't see it there, but list with dash A will show because it shows hidden files. But I can then vim bash rc go in here. I have some settings in here, uh, but basically I would just add my alias command in here. Alias f equals list dash lah. And I can save that. Now, I'm not running bash. I'm actually running Z shell here. So I can do the same thing, but my uh, command, uh, my file would be vim dot Z ZSHRC. And I can go into my into that file. Um, and then you can also create files that calls under it, like I also have a dot local setup, but that's er underscore local setup. That's a whole nother conversation. Um, but with that bash rc file change. Now if I start up bash, I can press F and it runs that command. And if I start bash down here, it saves it. So it basically runs that those settings at startup of your shell. So whatever shell you're using, it's probably going to be in your home directory, dot whatever your shell is, rc. For bash, it's dot bash rc. For z shell, it's dot z h z s h r c. And uh, just go ahead and put your aliases and any other settings in there, and it will go from session to session. And again, since that's in your home directory, that's for that particular user. You can also make RC files uh, that are um, skeleton files for new users. That's a whole other conversation as well. Um, and aliases are great for simple little commands like that. But check out the playlist in the description of this video, because in our next videos, I'm going to get more in depth on how to uh, do more, uh, more complex commands. So... Alias is very simple for short little commands. Look to the next videos for more complicated commands. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I hope that you have a great day.